Hello and welcome back to Educator.com and welcome back to Biochemistry. So today we're going to start off with something really, really exciting. Um, we've gone ahead and we've actually, we're going to be starting a new unit. We're going to be starting glycolysis today. But more than that, we've actually done the first half of biochemistry, the structure, the bioenergetics, and things like that. Now we're going to start on the second half of biochemistry, which is metabolism. And this is really, really exciting. So this is the section that's actually going to be testing a lot of your memory. There's going to be a lot of reactions going on. There's going to be lots of enzymes, lots of mechanisms. But all of it is absolutely beautiful, I promise. Um, after all these years, I'm still fascinated by how extraordinary this stuff is. So anyway, uh, we're going to get started with glycolysis. So let's jump right on in. So in this lesson, it's just going to be an overview. I'm going to be talking about glycolysis globally. And then in subsequent lessons, I'm going to go through each individual step. We're going to go through a detailed mechanism, structures, things like that. OK, so glucose. Uh, glucose is the primary sugar monomer that your body uses to create energy. That is what is ultimately metabolized. That is what is broken down and run through the you know, the metabolic pathways, and all of the energy is extracted from that. It's used to make the adenosine triphosphate. Um, all of the carbons are oxidized to carbon dioxide, and then, of course, it's oxidized to water. But it all begins with glucose. So let's take a look at what glucose can do. So glucose has three primary paths that it can follow, that it can follow. And we say primary, most of it is, happens this way. There are a few other things that glucose can do, but most of glucose goes to these three things. So let's go ahead and write glucose here. So we can take one path, and that's going to be this storage path. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll go ahead and. Storage. So the body can take the glucose and create those polymers that we talked about when we talked about carbohydrates, the starch and the glycogen. So it can use it for storage purposes. Now, the other path that it can take is actually glycolysis, which we are going to talk about. So when it runs through glycolysis, the products are pyruvate plus adenosine triphosphate. OK. And the third path that it can take is something called the pentose phosphate pathway. And we're going to be discussing that after we discuss glycolysis. So the pentose phosphate pathway. And the final products of that particular pathway are the ribose. 5-phosphate plus NADH. And you remember NADH is the reduced form of that particular coenzyme NAD+, oxidized form, reduced form. OK, so now in glycolysis, uh, glycolysis, if you like, glycolysis. A molecule of glucose glucose is broken down is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate in an absolutely it's it's amazing it's it's, it's still just it amazes me <laughs> OK, pyruvate in 10 enzyme-catalyzed steps. So of course, we know that every reaction in the body um, is catalyzed by an enzyme. So by an enzyme catalyzed, uh, by in 10 enzyme-catalyzed steps. OK, now glycolysis can be considered to have two phases. 
Now again, when we talk about these two phases, the preparatory phase, the payoff phase, or sometimes they call it the investment phase and the payoff phase, um, please understand that this is, this is an artificial categorization based on how we want to look at things. When, something, when things tend to get a little bit too complex, we like to break them down into smaller pieces. Now, it's true. I mean, there is a, you know, a preparatory phase and a payoff phase, and you'll see what that means when we actually get into the details. But understand that you don't have to actually look at glycolysis that way if you don't want to. This is just one sort of you know, categorization of it. Um, I personally don't tend to look at it this way necessarily. I just look at it as 10 steps, 10 biochemical reactions. Um, but I think it's great to sort of see it as uh, preparatory or investment and then payoff. So again, this is not set in stone. This is just a way of looking at something. So uh, don't feel like it has, like it is this, that glycolysis, there's this, and then there's that. It's not, it's just our way of organizing the information. Okay. So the first is called the preparatory phase or the investment phase. The preparatory phase, okay. This is where glucose in five steps is converted to two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. So, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now the second phase is called the payoff phase. And this is where these two molecules of the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, so I'll just write it as 2 glis 3 p glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, again, in another five steps, so you see the little bit of symmetry here that we've d divided it into, um, is converted to two molecules of pyruvate. So that's it, two molecules of pyruvate. So preparatory phase, payoff phase. Uh, preparatory phase, investment phase, that's where ATP is, is used to actually invest a little bit more energy into, um, uh, into the glucose molecule to actually prime it, to prepare it for the other reactions. And the payoff phase comes because during that process, ATP is actually produced. So there is a net gain in adenosine triphosphate during glycolysis, um, in addition to the pyruvate. So it's actually really, really great. Um, so now let's go ahead and take a look um, at what's going on, uh, the steps. I'm going to list the steps. I'm going to list the actual enzymes that catalyze these steps. And of course, when we get into the details of the individual steps, we'll talk a little bit more about the enzymatic activity.